the power of the dark. Hey everyone, I'm Doc. I'm Marco. Welcome to Syndicate Games. So here we are today for yet another roster review. We're joined by a good friend of ours. How about you introduce yourself for us? Hi, uh, I'm Obi-Wan Kenobi. I'm from the guild Crimson Dawn, part of the uh, Syndicate Alliance. And I've been playing for about two and a half years. Two and a half years, awesome. And uh, I know when we talked a little before this, you said you put a little bit of money here and there, so you kind of consider yourself a dolphin for the game? Yeah, yeah, just a little bit every now and again for some gear or shards or something. Awesome, like awesome. Oh uh, yeah, every once in a while, I know there comes with that little pack that just seems too good to be true that, you know, yeah. you get your character over the edge there, so I can understand that. Um, so we're going to look, of course, right into your arena ranks first. Um, oh god. <laughs> <laughs> so I see you went really good for a while and then something started falling a little bit. Is that kind of with all the Darth Revens that are showing up and Malix that are showing up? Um, the second time that JKR came around, I started being able to climb up to first regularly, but then missed out on Darth Revan, so just don't uh, participate in squad arena that much. Oh, I gotcha. Yeah, that can be a little tricky when... Uh... How come you changed from uh, Treya to, uh, or from Jedi Driven to Treya though? Uh, I just wanted to get some practice in at using my Treya as a uh, Rev encounter for territory warrants and stuff. Oh, that's oh, a good yeah. practice. Yeah. Good idea. So I might as well try it since I'm not actually using Arena for crystals or anything. Yeah. And then here with Squad Arena, I see you kind of run the typical Rebel um, lineup that pretty much is all you can do at this point to stay in the top. Um, yeah, it does fluctuate a bit though. Any any insight on that? Uh, yeah, during the week I'm not able to climb as much because I need to change my payout. But then at the weekends I can usually climb up till first. But gotcha. this weekend there's a, a a few snipers that took me out from first. <laughs> <laughs> gotcha. Yeah, it's kind of tough with the um, you know real life playing with the game life, and also I can understand that. Yeah, that's the good thing if you're only 16. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's true, Marco. You know, you have a little bit more free time than some of us. Some of us. <laughs> All right, and you're sitting at uh, 3.1 mil, which is pretty nice, especially for only about two and a half years. You said. Um, yeah. Have you ha What is your um, current goal, or what's the current thing that you're working towards right now when it comes to your characters? Uh, I'm gearing up the separatist droids, but using Newt as a fifth instead of Magna Guard. Okay. So um, just drop in the two Zetas, Androidica, and Newt, and then some gear, and I should be finished. What about, uh, you're not really messing with B1 too much, I see? Uh, his, once I'm finished the Karth farm, I'll go back and do B1, but yeah. I need to get Karth finished quickly, because I might get Revan this time if I spend a little. Gotcha. Yeah, he's uh, he's nice. I, I um, When it came around for him to first come out, I, I farmed him right up because I didn't want to miss him like I did JKR the first time around. And um, I got to say, I, Karth has not been a disappointment. He always holds like once or twice when it comes to Grand Arena for me. And I'm hoping with this new Grand Arena format that they're doing that he'll still be pretty viable. So Karth is a pretty yeah, good guy. Yeah. I like him a lot. It's a great defense team. I've struggled against it a few times. but Yeah. Yeah, they're pretty cool. Um, what have you recently finished when it comes to your characters as far as farming? Um, what did I do the last day? I, can't I think I was working on First Order for a bit, but then oh, okay. they got put on the back burner because they're not as important as they once were. Not as much anymore, no. They're still I, uh, Yeah, defense. Yeah, they're still good on defense, yeah. I worked on my Rogue One Rebels for Territory Wars because yeah. we're pushing for that 45th. Is it secretly for the Fulcrum uh, task? It was sorry. There's also a fulcrum task. Do you have that completed yet? No, not even past the second part. Oh yeah, yeah. Uh, when I eventually get round to that quest, it'll be helpful. All right, very cool. What um, is actually your biggest regret from the game? Yes. Um, oof. I'm probably not getting Darth Revan the first time. <laughs> I had to, everyone's regret. Uh, right? Yeah, I had enough time to try and farm up all those characters, but I chose to work on bounty hunters instead. Gotcha. Was there any 
um, character that you leveled up a whole lot that you kind of wish you had not done now? Yeah, I've got Princess Leia about gear 10. Um, she up there? Oh, there she goes. Yeah. Um, other than that, there's Luminara at gear 9. She's in the original Luke Skywalker at gear 9. Yeah. He was okay. my first 7 star because I thought he would be the best. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I think when it came to the old Rebels, like to get CLS, I actually leveled all those guys up to gear 10 just because I'm like, well, I don't know how much they're going to, how much they're going to be needed. And yeah. Then, well, that's the old betas now, and now they're, <laughs> they're kind of dark. Yeah, at least there's a use of them to get CLS, but then after that, I don't think I've used any of them I mean, except for like, hold... clean up territory wars. Yeah, exactly. I use them as a cleanup team or, you know, if, yeah. if I really really need to set one more defense because no one else has said anything somewhere you know i'll throw them in you know with the akbar lead or something like that just so they have mm. speed but you know, really... don't worry that i'm saying this while recording but i got to say it you got an ad blocker good work oh yeah i finally got that <laughs> <laughs> what has been your favorite team in the game so far your most fun to farm your most fun to play with uh, i really like the bounty hunters the, just the whole idea of the contracts and how, it's like a game inside a game trying to set them off oh yeah um, but after using the new separatist droids in like Grand Arena and stuff they've been really fun as well there's What's more your... strategy to them yeah there definitely is as far yeah. as the bounty hunters go though do you have a favourite bounty hunter that you have uh, I really like my boss yeah He's pretty sweet. I know you. That's your um. Your kind of logo is actually boss too. Yeah, that's my uh, picture on Discord. Yeah, very cool. Yeah, I, I like Boss a lot, and then I think uh, it's between the Fets for me. I think Django's a little bit cooler. Yeah. You know, Boba's been around from the original trilogy, so you can't go wrong there either. <laughs> but very cool stuff. Very cool stuff. Um, do you have a favorite game mode? Uh. It's got to be Territory Wars, or well, yeah. Territory Wars Grand Arena, they're pretty much the same thing, just... About Territory but, uh, Wars, what do you like more, the stuff where some characters get bonuses, or the vanilla? Um, I don't know, I quite liked some of the bonuses, but uh, vanilla is nice, because it always seems to be the characters I don't have. Uh, <laughs> The, yeah, the bonuses. I hated the most was the one with the, the when we had to choose five characters that cannot participate. Oh yeah, that was that was awful. I don't know whose decision that was. Yeah, I, I hope someone got in trouble and at least got yeah, in big time. timed off without pay or something for that one because that was a, I mean across the community everyone was like, there's nothing good to pick from these. Options. Yeah, they ruined so many squads by dropping a key member or two or something. Which yeah, they definitely had. I like their idea behind it but the way it was rolled mm. out was i didn't have a lot of trouble with it though because the characters were get, who were getting banned yeah i didn't have all of those oh. <laughs> <laughs> fair enough yeah very cool um what is it about the territory wars that you like is it just kind of the P the group pvp aspect or is it just yeah, the competitive other... like yeah the working okay. with the guild to try and win okay very cool what um, was your first character to? What was your first faction you were actually working on? Um, it was Rebels with Wigs, uh, Stormtrooper Han. I think I used Princess Leia and Luke Skywalker as fourth and fifth until I uh, until I got Chirrut, and I don't quite have Vage yet because his meta stopped halfway through me farming him yeah when i came but, back to the game the true days meta had already passed and um mm. when i saw them i'm just like oh i really want to get these characters but i don't have the time or patience to go farming them up so, yeah i uh, can't <laughs> afford to give up a hard node farm for bays exactly. right now yeah exactly i'm still working on um you know the finishing my bays all the way or my days finishing my um boss all the way to seven stars because i keep putting him off and then finishing mm -hmm. getting my Django to seven stars so uh, I, I, I can't put off for those guys you know <laughs> yeah yeah is there any character you would like to see in the game uh uh hondo from the clone war series i think he yeah, does yeah. a good character for a neutral attack 
Yeah, yeah, definitely. They, they could introduce a whole new pirate faction. I don't. Really but, uh, but if I see some people, I don't get why they didn't give uh, those characters the neutral tech yet. Yeah, yeah. There's heaps that could easily be neutral and already in the game. Most of the bounty hunters could almost be even a neutral tag because yeah, they're yeah. always looking for money, so... I mean, it's just yeah. a waste of a tag, really. They've got nothing in there. Yeah, I agree. Um, maybe that's something that's still, you know, in the future. I know when um, mm. Jedi Revan first came around, they are talking about they have a five-year plan, so, that, I mean, that's still a possibility. Sure. Yeah, it's still got plenty to... All right. Um, as far as just legendary characters go, do you have a favorite of those? Legendary or uh... characters? Ooh, probably CLS. CLS. He was, he was my he was my first proper like legendary character. Well, journey character. Okay. Um, that had gear twelve, and he's just he's always had a use really. Yeah, I agree with you. Even if he's not a leader spot, to find something has a use, to do. Cool. Yeah. Very cool. Jedi and Revan came out. He was still he was still a bit in the meta showing up. Yeah. Yeah, I used him for a while with Chewie once I seven started him. But... Very cool. All right, we're going to take a quick gander at your ships. Um, I see the MILF up in the top row. Did you get that the first time it came around? No, second time around. I've missed out the first time. Gotcha. Did you just not I have the bounty should... on your ships? Uh, no, I just didn't or... have the time to farm them. Gotcha, okay. I um, should have I the seven stars the third time around. Yeah, yeah you, you, me, you and me both. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, do you, uh, I mean, I know ships isn't everybody's favorite, but do you like uh, running the ship arenas and that sort of thing at all, or is that just... Uh, yeah, it's quite good. I like the, it's easier to get crystals from, especially uh, in my shard yeah, chat. Milf. It's, yeah. Um, it, the I've only really paid has much a, a crystal giver right now. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Um, did you get the Ebon Hawk? I've not seen it on here. No, I missed it. I only got 32 out of 80 shards for that. Oh no! <laughs> uh, I don't know, I went for the wrong one. one. Get that I one wheeled on the around. Palp Mobile. Yeah, the Palp Mobile, there it is. <laughs> yeah. They I wish I went for the Ebon Hawk. I'm, I'm disappointed. I don't know why you're disappointed with Evan Hawk. This is the thing that me and have been, me and him have been kind of arguing about. He doesn't like Evan Hawk because it looks like the Falcon. And I'm like, no, who is it? Look at the Stuff Guns. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, that's right. We got to look at the Tuscans. We'll go to that in just a minute, though. Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> um, <laughs> other than the MILF and Hound's Tooth, do you have any other ships that you're a fan of at all? Uh, Cassian ship, I really like. Cassian, it dispels all the buffs on its reinforcement, calls and assists. It's basically at the end of the battle if you manage to wipe out the uh, Falcon with that. Yeah, that's true. Okay, you can just stick on cool. auto after that. My last question then regarding ships is, did you ever, I see some of the Geos right here. Well, there's one of them at least. There's the other two. Did you ever try to get them up at all uh, when you were first starting the game or they, did they just kind of get passed by? They have only just recently been working on since uh, the new Geo territory battles was uh, announced because you can always use some extra ships. Yeah, okay, very cool. Very cool. Plus, if I'm working the, the Geo as, uh, as characters, I might as well do their ships at the same time. Yeah, of course. And the thing is, what I love about them is it's a one pilot per ship, which is really nice, mm. as opposed to like yeah. the majority of the ships. Yeah, of course, up here we got a lot of single character resistance. Three for both of those, two, three, two. Yeah, so it's kind of nice that. Plus, with um, uh, what's the name? Uh, new Gunray, it looks like. There's a, a lot more separate synergy, so the Geo yeah, Shadow really like really is really really separate as Shadow, like Phantom uh, 2 is separate as Shadow 2. Mm -hmm. Maybe just a literal separatist uh, ship will come. That'd be cool like if Slate was a non capital yeah. ship I'm talking about. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, let's go back over here. Tuscan. Yeah, we got to look at the Tuscan. <laughs> <laughs> let's see. I don't think I've worked a single Tuscan. Oh, no, no! no. <laughs> nope, still. <laughs> At least you got Uro Ruru. I don't have him yet. Uh, that was just Bronzium packs. Just just Bronzium? Hey, five stars yeah. for Bronzium unlocks. You can't complain there. <laughs> no, exactly. If he ever uh, becomes meta, yeah, I'd hear him. <laughs> That's funny. All right, I want to look at your lowest geared characters that we got on here. Good work on Rose and Aldo. 
<laughs> yeah, Rosa Bonheur. Yeah, my guilty there would hate me for that. But. Oh man, you got you gotta. If you could, I wish you could relock characters. You know. Oh yeah, yeah. To lose like, some GP. I'm telling you, half my GP would be gone if I could do that. Mm-hmm. <laughs> um, yeah, there's a few. And if you like bounty hunters, this is a dude right here that I think you should at least consider a little bit in the future. I can agree with that. Um, um, yeah, it's just I read with my bounty hunters and. That guy could hit like a truck. Plus, he has a dispel on basic. Um, when he gets his contract, he gets the extra that like flying kick move that regains protection. Mm. You can't yeah, underestimate. It will look it. actually it far like far Look at the picture. It almost looks like you're watching it a truck. Yeah. <laughs> kind of. <laughs> truck. Now it goes. Um, for your other, after you finish up with Karth um, and your kind of separatists that you were mentioning about, do you have anyone in the future for possibly next quarter you're thinking about farming, or are you just going to wait to see what comes out? Uh, in, I need to finish my nest once I've done the B1. Okay. Where's She's that? just oh, been I would five, also five star. Uh, the clones right now. Yeah? Yeah, clones are definitely going to be Have you looked farming. into the shock piece? Will become a Marquee yeah. or a Legendary event. Shaq, he, I'm thinking uh, Marquis. Yeah, yeah, she's not that kind of an uh, she's character. She's not, no. Like, there is a, yeah. Yeah, but and yeah, they yeah, will definitely get work. With flow training. Yeah, she'll yeah. be cool, but she's definitely not legendary worthy, I wouldn't say. Um, no, no, I'll we, farm her when she's available, good. but... Yeah. Okay, well, Marco, why don't you uh, tell us what you think of his characters and his ships? Well, I'll scroll a bit through the characters uh, slowly. Of course, I'll keep scrolling. <laughs> I can't, like I see, oh, with many others, I can see a white uh, worked on roster, good for territory war, both do- defense and offense, same for Grand Arena. Mm-hmm. Only some major teams I'm seeing here are still missing. Like what? Like I see a uh, Sith Empire working on that. Yep, he's working on those guys. The clones, <laughs> as an example, those are those are becoming a major part. Sith Empire, yeah, could use a little work, which you know that's what you're working on right now. So you're yeah, up, once I get clone uh, troopers, that's well, also uh, clone troopers, definitely, yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay, not bad. Any other ones you want to take a last second look at there, Marco? Uh, Ewoks. Ewoks. He actually had. Uh, C-3PO I thought I saw. I've got a six star Those are pretty good geared Ewoks. I can't uh, complain with that. Yeah. You should be just got... next turn around. Maybe if you had a, if you get low grade of that seventh star, give him a little yeah. gear. Um, that should have you, especially now that you know the mechanics of it. I think that'll get it. Yeah, I'm, hoping, I'm hoping Wicket can carry me. I just got him to seven stars just a couple of weeks ago. Oh, well, there you go. So. Right Might on. drop us eight on him if I need to, but yeah. But you got the most important one, which I'd probably I think it, most people would agree with that. Trip is Zeta. I'm oh, yeah. sure okay. I, will, I will get C3PO at at least uh, five stars. Yeah, good luck with that one. <laughs> uh, I, I upgraded my Ewoks a lot the last two days, so okay. Well, there you go. Uh, all all uh, Ewoks I'm going to use are gear eight now, okay, and probably going to drop the zero punch here. Oh, if I say that. <laughs> All right. So, what would you give his rating for his characters? I would give him an eight and a half. I mean, some teams need to be worked on a bit, and uh, yeah. But for the rest, it's good for a territory war or grand, or grand arena roster. Mm-hmm. Very good. Yeah. I agree. I'd give you an eight to an eight and a half as well. Um, for the characters that you don't have, you're already kind of working on them. So, I think another few months, and you'll be right where you want to be, and be sitting pretty pretty over there. So. That is so, anyway. They'll probably release something new that will need. Yeah, and, and then it's going to throw everybody for a loop again. Right? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> How do you feel about his ships, Marco? Well, he has the Millennium Falcon, that's the thing. Yep. Yeah, I cannot really complain about this, too. You have the whole Millennium Falcon squad, squad, but some, like Galactic Republic, maybe you got to work on that, too, because uh, there are probably a requirement for the new capital ship incoming. Oh, yeah, 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 I think so. And they also might have a big impact when, like, the Geos would have an impact on the territory battle map. Um, Galactic Republic may as well, so. Or life side battle. Mm-hmm. Hopefully Mace, our MVP, can finally get his rework, you know? Oh, I've had him at Gear 11 for and so like long, I hope he gets a rework. If he faces Boba in the, in the territory battle, he will one-shot kill. Yeah. 
cut his head straight <laughs> off. <laughs> they, they just need to make a special animation for his maze skills, Django. Yeah, there you yeah. go. <laughs> like a cutscene from the movie. Um, what would you give his ships here, Marco? I would give it a nine. I mean, yeah. it's good enough to stay in the meta. I agree. I'd give it a, like a nine, maybe a nine and a half. You get those last couple sh uh, couple of stars for your bounty hunters. Uh, work on your geos a little bit, and I think you're uh, you're right where you need to be. So, good mm -hmm. stuff all around. And then, of course, you know the ships is what gives you all your crystals too. So, yeah, it's the main income right now. Yep, for sure. Okay, well, an eight and a nine. I think those are pretty solid. Uh, eight and solid numbers. And nine. I'd have to I'd have to agree with Marco's uh, input on those. All right. Yeah, I'll take eight and a nine. Yeah. Any last minute words or anything from you, Obi-Wan? Uh, no, I think that's just about everything. Okay, cool. Oh, uh, one ask, last thing I didn't want to ask. Um, how do you feel about with mods? Any insight on that at all? Um, more, uh, <laughs> usually about once a month, I use the Grand Ivory optimizing thing. Okay. Just to run through my squad, see if there's anything that I can upgrade if I've got any new mods through events and stuff. Do you kind of um, form them on a daily basis and kind of update yourself at all, or just kind of, what do you know? Is yeah, I have a quick look every time I get a new mods, and then obviously I'm farming new mods, so I've managed to slice one up that's got decent speed or decent stats, then I'll look to see if I can swap it on and that, but okay. it's a slow game for mods. It's a slow game, but it's a necessary game for sure. It, that, yeah, yeah. All right, well, good stuff, man. I think uh, you definitely know what you need to do and you're uh, on the right path. So uh, keep up the great work, my friend, and uh, good luck thank to you. you. All right, ladies and gentlemen, thank you for watching us and thank you, Obi-Wan, for uh, joining us today. Uh, make sure, those of you don't forget, leave a like, comment, and subscribe down below. We really appreciate your support. Until next time, I'm Doc. I'm Marco. And we're joined by Obi-Wan Kenobi from the Crimson Dawn Guild of the Syndicate Alliance. Don't forget, ladies and gentlemen. Let the Wookiee win. I believe I'm self-made, yeah.